When you think of Apple iPhone dummies, you think of Sony Dixon. Today, Dixon tweeted the first dummy models of 3 iPhone 12 with 3 different screen sizes, 5.4 inch, 6.1 inch and 6.7 inch. We still expect Apple to launch 4 5G iPhones this year in September including the iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Plus, iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max. The iPhone 12 Plus and the iPhone 12 Pro will both have 6.1 inch displays. The difference between the two will be camera setup and a larger battery and more memory and more battery life. You, you guess the point. The dummies of the new iPhones that will reportedly giving 2020 models a throwback look that resembles the iPhone 4 times. The edge to edge screen, the notch and the iPhone 12 line will have higher screen to body ratio than the iPhone 4 of course, giving the upcoming handsets a sleeker and more modern look. I should point out that what you're seeing as the probable camera model or the notch size isn't accurate. The form factor and the chassis. All of them will be powered by the 5 nanometer A14 Bionic chipset with 15 billion transistor in each chip. The A13 Bionic in comparison has around 8.5 billion. The more transistor inside a chip, the more powerful and more energy efficient they are. The two Pro models should feature the ProMotion display with 120Hz refresh rate. This means the screen will be delivering smoother scrolling and enhanced video game animation first time in any iPhone. The Pro models are also believed to come with 6GB of LPDDR5 RAM and will also include 128GB of storage. It's for the first time ever in an iPhone. It's still a conflict that only the iPhone 12 Pro Max will offer the additional LiDAR sensor, but it's coming definitely. The LiDAR sensor can offer users enhanced ear capabilities and improved bokeh blurs on portrait shots. The new iPhones will feature Qualcomm Snapdragon X60 5G modem. The new chip supports both sub 6 GHz and millimeter 5G signals. However, some analysts believe that the faster millimeter waves signals will be Pro model exclusive. This means that T-Mobile subscriber who want a 5G iPhone this year might be limited to buying the lower price standard models. That's because only a part of the T-Mobile's 5G network is using millimeter wavelength as of now and the only small part of the country can use Verizon's 5G network right now. So yeah, not too many 5G iPhone users will get the opportunity to download a video in a blink of an eye, at least for this year. Apple will reportedly hike the battery capacity of the iPhone 12 Pro Max this year and it is rumored to be coming with 4400mAh battery. This would be a 10% hike over the iPhone 11 Pro Max's battery, which already is a battery champ in every comparison. So Apple has something really special in their hand for us and I'm really excited for it. So that is it for now, subscribe this channel, watch my other videos, bye and take care.